In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite man coverage beaters in Madden 23 out of the Trips Tied In formation. If you're watching this video and you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. You can get access to all of my Madden 23 ebooks by becoming a Patreon member today. And again, it's only 10 bucks to sign up, so if you want to sign up, head down to the description below. But what I want to talk about in this video is I wanted to talk about man coverage primarily. This play does beat zone, but it's really good against man. Um, and we're going to be utilizing the play PA counter go um, to be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. Now the key to attacking man-to-man -man coverage, in my personal opinion, is to have as many crossing routes on the field as you possibly can. That is what we're going to do with this play PA counter go. Now, this does require um, a, a uh, tight end apprentice, but um, you can also, there's a way to do it without tight end apprentice, which we'll cover in the video. Okay, so PA counter go, here's your setup. We're going to first talk about man coverage. The setup is very simple. We're going to post the outside receiver. Well, I guess you don't need outside apprentice and tight apprentice. You could do this out of um, you, you could do this uh, out of Pat's YN as well. Uh, but anyway, we're going to post Jalen Waddle. We're going to slant uh, Steve Smith. We're going to crosser our tight end, and we're just going to motion Cooper Cup on this little uh, kind of angled in route across the formation. So you see here we have crossers at every level of the defense now what you're going to see is against man coverage one of these dudes is going to get open it can be a different guy every time with the way the game plays this year to be quite honest um but generally speaking if it's man coverage the slant is really the best route i think personally because it's the quickest hitting play um, that you're going to have so you can quickly hit that slant if that's not there your crosser is your natural next progression as you can see right there i think the tight end crosser is the best route for the tight end to be able to actually get open against man to man um well as opposed to like the tight end post i think the crosser gets better man to man separation and so they're going to have to drop you know coverage to help that out and then this this cooper cup route is kind of like a just a late read but what you'll see is a lot of times his in route will get separation. Now, if they have KO abilities, that's one thing. Um, I'll show you one other thing you can do. This is if you have Hot Route Master, put him on a post instead of a um, instead of that in route, and you'll find that sometimes it's not. Sometimes this post can be a little better than the than the in route would be. So you see here, you got the crosser, and now you have this post coming over the middle, as you can see right there. So if you have Hot Master, you can do that. If you don't have Hot Master, just leave him on the in route. You could also put him on a smart routed in route. So um, like if I was running the play Pat's YN, it will always have this uh, crosser here. And then what I would do is take the tight end and put him on an in route and then just put Cooper Cup on in route. So basically you'd have two in routes essentially coming over the middle. Now you could drag the tight end as well if you don't have tight end apprentice. But basically these are just little ways uh, to get separation if I don't have tight end apprentice, okay? But I really like the in route out of PA counter go. I do think that there's some value in it. Um, and I think that, you know, if you want to run the tight end in route with with it, um, the PA counter go in route for Cooper Cup right there, he's going to take a little bit more time. He's going to be a little bit more angled in terms of how he's going to get his separation. So then you could throw something like this. So, as you can see, this play is just pretty decent against man-to-man -man overall. Now, another thing that's going to happen is if they press you um, on the outside, and let's say they're dropping zones to, you know, take away some of the things that we're showing you here with the slant, the crosser, all those things right there, you can smart route this post on the outside uh, if you want to as well, the left side post route. You can smart route that route. What you'll see is a lot of times he will light up against man, and as you can see, that can be a potential uh, beater for you. Now, you want to have short if you if you have if you have your choice of abilities, you want to have short out on Jalen Waddle. You can justify having short in and short out on Cooper Cup, honestly, because of what he does for you. Um, you know, you could put, but short in will be fine. And then um, short in on Steve Smith and short in on Darren Waller. That really does help a lot with the actual type of separation that they're going to get. Um, against man-to-man -man. now this play is also a really good zone beater in the fact that you have a slant post combo over the middle of the field slant post combos to me uh, or slant crosser combos whatever you want to call them I think they're one of the best concepts in the game because they beat man and they beat zone and they're hard in my opinion to user 
because they go to user that and then now you have this that you can actually just cut off against cover four or cover three and generally it's going to be you know both of those now the other thing that you have in this play is kind of a sneaky bomb um honestly against man and zone in the fact that this post on the left side is going to be able to get over the top of cover two now it will kill cover two for sure cover two doesn't stand a chance to defend this play over the top and i will say it's honestly kind of a, i don't see a lot of people really expecting um this setup especially when you motion this guy across they normally expect it if you're in trips but they don't expect it if you motion it a two by two but the other thing that you have with this is occasionally this will actually bomb every coverage of the game, um, or every zone deep, if you have time. So your slant, your crosser, and then you see there that in route's going to move that safety. And then as you see, I can throw that, that post over the top for a touchdown. So if you have time in the pocket, this becomes to me one of the best plays in the game because you can attack main coverage and zone coverage in numerous amounts of ways. You can attack them short, you can attack them deep. Um, I don't think cover four, you're going to see here, cover four is going to be, whoops, I apologize, I for, or no, I didn't forget it, okay. So you see here, here's cover four, um, this is a tough throw, um, for sure. So this, the, the cover four is going to play probably the best over the top that you're going to see, uh, but you do have a window um, to attack cover four. Now if I knew it was cover four, I would want to have that tight end probably on a post route, just because you're going to see it's going to get a little bit more uh, separation. And then you got to basically wait. And then you see how it's just kind of a dangerous throw. So cover four to me, you know, you're not going to want to throw this a lot against cover four. From my experience with this play. But you can throw it against cover four. Okay, you can. There is a window to throw it. Um, so don't sleep on it. If you have a step, then obviously you want to take, you know, take the bomb. But we'll see right here. There you see that's a little better. And as you can see, he got over the top of the cover four. So we're able to bomb every coverage in zone, but we're also able to have, like I said, a really powerful, um, a really good man beater. Um, you know, and, and man coverage in this game is really the predominant meta on defense. If you can find a way to beat man consistently, you're gonna have a lot of success. And I find that this crosser combined with that skinny post, combined with that in route and slant, to me is the best way to beat man this year. So. Anyways, if you guys uh, want to learn more about the Trips Tied In offense or just get better at Madden, my Patreon membership will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So uh, the link to sign up for that is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.